In this tutorial, we're going to work out how we can change data that's already in a database um, using the update statements in SQL. So we'll use the W3Schools SQL Try It editor to have a look at the database that's there. And we'll look at the customers database, sorry, the customers table. So there are 91 records, 91 customers in this um, database. And we want to work out how we can change some of the details. So let's try and change it so that um, around the horn, um, this company, Thomas Hardy, we're going to say they moved to York rather than London. Okay, so to change data, rather than searching for data with select, we need update. Um, and first of all, we say which table we're changing. So we're going to change data from the customers table. And then we say what we want to change. So if we want to change the city from London to York, we have to say the field name, so city, equals, and then the value. So we're going to change it to York. Okay, so we're saying update. Let's make a change. This is the table we're changing. This is the fields that we're changing, and this is the value we're changing it to. If we run it, um, that's actually changed all 91 records in one go. Um, so on the customers table now, every single customer has changed to York, which is a bit of a problem. Um, we're going to restore the database to reset it back to how it was originally. And this time, we just need to say we only want to change one record. So update, name of the table is customers. Um, and we'll set the city to York, but this time we only want to change um, record number four, so where the customer ID equals four. Customer ID equals four. So this time if we run it, it's only affected one of our records, so that hopefully um, Thomas Hardy lives in York now rather than London. Okay, so if we want to change more than one thing at once, we can say update. So we're just changing um, one table at a time. Update customers. Um, we'll just um, set all of the fields that we want to change. So this time, um, his postcode will need to change as well. So let's um, make Thomas move to Manchester now. Um, so his city goes to Manchester. Oops. Um, and after a comma, we can put as many of the fields that we want to change as well. So let's say the postcode. Oops, postal code um, is, I don't know what the postcodes are for Manchester, let's say MA213ZX or something like that. Um, so if you want to change more than one field, when you're saying set, you just put the name of the fields you want to change, oops, sorry, name of the field you want to change, the value with an equal sign, um, and then separate all of the fields with a comma. But remember, put your WHERE clause in so that you only change one um, record at a time. Um, so we only want to change where, you could say, where the contact name is Thomas Hardy. So WHERE CONTACT NAME equals Thomas Hardy. Okay, so be careful. If there's um, more than one customer with the same name, that's going to change both of their addresses. So if you're um, writing an update clause, it is often better um, to put the, the unique identifier, which is the, um, often the primary key. So we'd put the, um, the ID number in there. But this would work. So we're saying update. This is the table we're updating. These are the fields we're changing, separated by a comma. Um, and then where. And this is the only records that we want to change. So hopefully when we run it, Thomas Hardy will move to Manchester. Let's have a look. We run it, have a look at customers. Um, and Thomas has moved to Manchester.